Hi guys, this is Arise again, back with another tutorial of AutoCAD 2016 Essential Training. In this video, I'll discuss rotate and scale command. To get started, I'm gonna go and open one of my drawing, which is Portfolio Drawing 1. And now to show you the rotate command, I'm gonna copy my one of my objects from my drawing and bring it outside the drawing. I'll go and copy by typing CEO, hit spacebar, select an object, enter again, and specify a base one, and let's take it outside. Okay, so let's have a look at the rotate command now. The rotate command is in right there in the modify panel, so I select the rotate command. And now it's going to ask me to select an object. You can select multiple objects for now. I'm going to show you with one of the objects. So I'll select this object, hit spacebar. Now it's going to ask me to specify a base point. Just select in the middle somewhere, arbitrary base point. And as you can see now, if I move my cursor, what's happening? The object is rotating. So I can click anywhere and rotate it to any arbitrary rotation angle. Let's go ahead and undo this command. What I'm going to do, I'm going to rotate this object by specifying my angle. So you can do that. I go and select my rotate command again. Select the object, specify base point. And now while it's asking me to specify rotation angle, so I can type in 45. I want to rotate it by 45 degrees. So I can type 45, enter, and the object will be rotated to 45 degrees. Let's have a look one more command on the command line while you select your rotate command. So I'm just gonna draw a line here on my 90 degree angle. And now what I wanna do, I wanna rotate this, but I don't wanna move this object, I wanna make a copy of it. So what I can do is, I can select the base one here, and now as you can see I've got two options here. You can rotate your object by reference as well. And you can copy as well so i'll click copy for now and while i am rotating to this angle what it's going to do is it's basically going to make a copy of it on that rotation and it's not going to do anything to my previous object now let's go and have a look at the scale command i'm going to delete these objects and i'm going to bring the same object outside by copying it okay so now let's it. I want to scale it by 150 percentage. So how can I do that? I go and select my scale command which is right there in a modify panel. Select. It's going to ask me to select an object. I'll select this object and I specify any arbitrary base point. Well, let's select in the middle somewhere. And now if I move my cursor as you can see it's scaling my object. If I go closer to my base point I want to scale it by 150 percentage. So how can I do that? I can actually type in exact scaling factor. So if I want to scale it to 150, that would be 1.5. Anything over 1.5 is going to increase the size of scaling. But if you say 0.9, it's going to reduce the size by 10%. So 1 to 1 percent is basically a hundred percent so if you want to scale it to 90 percent which is going to reduce the size that would be 0.9 so for now i'll scale it to 150 for that i'll try 1.5 enter enter and at the size it's been increased by 150 percentage now let's have a look how can we scale our object by giving them a reference for that i'm going to select this object by using a move command I'm going to take this to this object because I'm giving a reference for this object. So let's go and select my scale command. Select an object, whatever you want to scale to. And now press spacebar. And now for the base point, select this end point. And now I've got two options here, copy and reference. I'm going to go and select reference. For the reference, it's asking me scale the specified um, length. So the reference length would be start from here, and then the second point would be there. So as you can see, if I move, the object is scaling. 
So I've got the reference there, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to hit um, shift button, right click, and select endpoint, because I want to snap my object to this endpoint. And I'm going to click here, and this object will be scaled to the reference of the other object there. Alright guys, this was pretty much everything about scale every day command. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Follow along with my course and with soon I'm gonna I'm gonna make a project by using these commands. Alright, thanks for watching, see you in the next video.